welcome to the third part, uh, probably the last part of uh, Doom 64. Um, starting on a level that I've tried a couple times at this point, so maybe I have like a little bit of an idea of uh, how to how to go about it, and just have just tried and failed a bunch of times to get past it. Um, this level is a pain in the ass, though. Um, but I did want to definitely get to a level like this because uh, I wanted to show uh, where the the aesthetic of of this particular game really starts to get to a point that I enjoy. Uh, as much as I liked the original uh, the original type of levels, the familiar ones with the space stations and all that, um, I started to really like the uh, the like hellscape sort of you know pits of lava and like evil looking churches and stuff. Those are the really cool ones. So this is like one where we're like inside uh inside this building and another part of it and it's been a pain in the ass and using a lot of like teleporters and everything like that. Um oh, that, are you fucking kidding me? Whatever. Let's go back there. You notice that this part right there that I just ran through, I couldn't see shit. I couldn't see anything. That's getting actually really getting on my nerves with this game is that even though you know I have the brightness all the way up and everything um, they seem to be trying to like get you to they seem to be dr trying to drive home the point that like you know there are gonna be parts where it's gonna be too dark to see and they intend for that and I think that's really shitty actually Um, I've seen this, I've done this a couple times now, there's supposed to be like a pattern to the, to that supercharge over there. Damn it, I didn't get it. Alright. This is when the, one of the most annoying enemies comes out, it's this fucking thing. They're weak, and it sucks, uh, you know what, I didn't even have to do that. If I stay too long in this hallway, I... That's, that's it killing me right now. Fuck this game. Uh, the reason I think this is going to be like the last video I do for this is because the learning curve, if, you know, if you're as new to playing Doom as I am, the learning curve is really, really, really steep. Oh shit, yeah. There's no way that I will be able to get through this if I just die and restart. I literally have to reload my file. Because you can't start this shit with just the pistol. You literally walk into that room and you're bombarded with those flaming skulls and the uh, the specter like thing. No, they're not specters. They have you can see them. I know there's a thing called a specter that is mostly invisible. But these fucking things, when they fly at you from across the entire room, it really pisses me off. Those guys are pushing over his butt. I don't actually need that med kit. Run and see. I can't. I can barely see. I'm walking into the wall here because it's like I can't see. And then I'm supposed to. They literally intend for me to fire it at things on the other side of this window that I can't see either. And I just. I think that's kind of shitty, actually. It wouldn't make a difference. It's like it's not like I can reach them anyway. Yeah, they got me again. This is fucking bullshit. I actually, the this learning curve is way too steep. I'm only on this is only level uh, 16, I think, and there's 32 levels. Um, so this is this is like the tenth time I've tried this level. I'll be honest with you, and I'm still on the the normal uh, normal difficulty setting and everything. Um, I'm trying really hard, but uh, I can't spend all my time streaming something that I'm just going to fail at over and over again because the learning curve is steeper than my ability to adapt to it. I will say one thing, if I... Oh my fucking god, see those are the missiles that are coming out of that turret in the middle of the room. If they start hitting you, you're done for, like right now. Not even gonna bother. I'm already dead. Uh, I'm sorry I'm bad at Doom. Um, 
And also, if you die once in this game, like I said, I can't possibly uh, keep going if I die because they start you off with just the pistol. Actually, chain gun might work better. Uh, let's go. Go, go, go. It's right. Come on. Really? I can see <laughs> where where the entrances that I need to go, but this game is so fucking dark, I can't actually get there. This would be actually a really good first person shooter if it wasn't for one of one major fly is that I can't see where I'm going half the time and I need to move really fast. trying so hard at this game. I'm disappointing my friend who loves Doom. I'm fail <sighs> If one of those missiles starts to get you, then you're, you're fucking screwed. It's, it's over. It's right there! It's right there, and I'm hitting the wall because I can't see where the door is. Ah, <sighs> God. I don't know why they make me hit both buttons at the same time to load the file. It's so weird. And I'll, I'll be great. I'll say I'm grateful for the fact that you can save the game, but I'm not grateful for the fact that you can't save your settings. The settings are the more important part to me. Uh, every time I start the game, I'm glad that you can uh, change the control setup because it's super necessary. I would not get, be getting this far in this game at all if I had to go with the default control setting with the things on the shoulder buttons. Get up there. That's all I care about right now. Unbelievable. I can't see them. This is the most common complaint I'm going to hear about this game. I'm going to make about this game, and I'm probably going to hear about this game from anybody else. I can't see anything. Remember, this, this is the brightness setting all the way up. Really? I just have to wait out those missiles exploding out there. Nope, 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 okay, yep, I'm screwed. I'm already dead. That thing's just biting at the back of my head and I can't even see it. Unfucking believable. This is. Having the strafe buttons remapped uh, for my personal use to the left and right C buttons is extremely important. Oh my fucking lord. It just can't, they come out of nowhere. run for it. It's 
maybe the best way to go about this. Don't stop moving left to right. Cause there's, uh, I think there's six of these things behind these two windows, three in each. You can hear them moaning, but you have almost no way of knowing when they're actually dead, except that there's going to be no more moaning. Great. There it is. There's this, this sound I think I'm looking for. Is that it? Is that it? There we go. Alright. Now we hit this switch, we walk over here, and we start looking for the right spot. One, two, three. Uh, it's right there. It's gonna be in that one over there. Correct? Yay! Supercharge. That's a huge help right now. And we get the blue key. We have to go back to that room where I start out in and I continuously die because of those fucking missiles. I think so. Yeah. I'll send you back here. I'm hitting the wall. Alright, sprint to these the blue things. Move! Fuck this. Wow. <laughs> it's the failure of part three. I'll make a part four. I'll, sca I'll get to the next level and I'll make a part four. Sorry I'm bad at this. But I showed you a different level with the more uh, darker hellscape sort of aesthetic to it. I hope uh, Hexen is a little bit easier to grasp than this game. Because this is fucking hard. It's hard. I'm not... I, I suck, but it is also hard. Alright, nobody watches this anyway. <laughs> nobody sees me suck. That's the only thing I can, like, get away with. But, uh, for now, that's me sucking at this level, level 16. Alright.